Hello everyone and welcome. I am Empress Queen Tay from Empress Queen Tay Tarot and Oracle here on YouTube. And I am so delighted that Miss Nicole from Spiritual Guidance gave me the chance to come to you guys with 12 Tarot and Oracle readings exclusively for Spiritual Guidance only. Okay, you guys, you will not find this set up, this reading like this anywhere else on my channel okay or me doing it for anyone else this is exclusively for spiritual guidance academy only okay so very blessed and honored that miss nicole will give me this opportunity okay um you guys know that tarot energy is fluid take what is for you leave what is not okay also these messages are timeless so take what is for you and leave what is not yet again okay please hit that like button subscribe to the channel okay then go check my channel out leave us a comment let us know what you thought about the video okay so without further ado okay i am going to get into this reading yes honey with the keepers of the light oracle deck okay i'm gonna see what light bearer is coming through for the collective that i'm resonating with or i'm connecting with either now or at a later date Okay, what is guiding you, what is leading you right now, also what is protecting you, okay? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I'm resonating with either now or at a later date. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. Divine Holy Spirit, what is coming through for the collective that I'm resonating with either now or at a later date? What is coming through? Thank you. And we have facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Okay, I feel like, you know, a lot of spiritual work here. I feel like you guys are aware of what has been holding you back. You're aware of your desires and what is stopping you from doing that. And you're breaking free from that. Okay, here's the chance. Spirit, your ancestors, I'm feeling strongly, are unfolding a chance for you to break away from everything. Okay, something spiritually is coming in to lift you guys up on another level is what I'm hearing. So I'm going to go in with the soul's journey deck and I'm going to see what soul lesson is coming out for the divine collective, okay? Archangels, ancestors, the Father, God, divine, Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. What message is coming through? Archangels, ancestors, Father, God, divine, Holy Spirit. What is it that they need to know? Angels, ancestors, Father God, divine, and Holy Spirit. Divine, Holy Spirit, what is coming through for the collective? Thank you. And we have empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. Okay. And the Bible Holy Spirit is giving me, you know, that is also, I'm, I'm getting parents off of that. Okay. For some of you guys, a situation within a divorce or something like that that is going on. Okay. Because of the way you're moving spiritually, you're able to see how someone could have hurt you. Okay. You're moving past that. You're feeling for them, but you're not allowing that to keep you trapped in any kind of cycle. I'm getting... Okay, I'm also getting your feeling, you know, you're having empathy for yourself going through this field, not like a pity party, but a, a connecting understanding. I'm getting off of this. Divine Holy Spirit wants me to go again. And self-esteem popped out. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Okay. And I feel like you guys are building your self-esteem. You're facing something that maybe, you know, was blocking your self-esteem, a fear, something like that, divine Holy Spirit. What else do you want to have come through? Thank you. Okay, we have guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist my soul's growth. Yeah, I just said that. Okay, I feel like you're having empathy for yourself in some situation here. Where it was, uh, you know, your self-esteem and you're noticing, you're understanding. I possess uh, gifts, 
You know, I have great attributes about myself. Okay, you're facing something here. You're overcoming here. What I just say, overcoming perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Okay, and that's what this facing fear energy is here. A lot of sacral chakra energy, a lot of solar chakra energy, crown chakra energy, third eye chakra energy going on here. Okay, you might be going through some type of awakening for some of you. Okay, definitely a major spiritual change facing fear. Okay, I'm not going to pull it, but I'm going to show it freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Okay, that's what this is all about. Okay, so I'm going to go in with an affirmation. And I'm going to see what affirmation is coming out for the collective archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be connecting with either now or at a later date, archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine, and Holy Spirit. What message is coming through for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date, archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine, and Holy Spirit. Who's the affirmation? Where's the affirmation? Oh, I'm going to take that one over there since it knocked down this fear cord. Okay. And it says, my life is a mirror. The people in my life are really mirrors of me. This affords me the opportunity to grow and change. Okay. And I said that, you know, for some of you, this is something childhood. This is something, you know, um, facing something parental wise. I'm feeling okay as well. Cause you have the home, you have the child, you have the dad here. Okay. For some of you, you went through a divorce. Okay, you're having maybe some type of issue or problem with your kids at this time. Okay, you're releasing some type of guilt. You're noticing how you're adding to the situation or something like that. And you're doing what you're supposed to be doing because you're realizing you're mirroring some type of image to your kids. Or you need to realize you're mirroring some type of image to your kids. Okay. So we're going to go in. With the angels and oracle ancestors deck. And we want to see what energy is coming out. This is going to be a six card spread. Okay. As I lay the cards out, I'll tell you what energy it is. Okay. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, and Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. High priestess and high priest has shown up on the cut. Okay. Allow me to tap into the energies of the Holy Spirit. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy that the collective is in right now? Thank you. Didn't I just say high priestess showed up on the cut and the high priest? Okay. Harness mystic power. This is the energy that you're in. Okay, you're tapping into all types of things. You're experiencing all types of things. You're realizing all types of things. And you're letting that help you persevere. You're letting that help you release guilt, face fears, and be open at this time is what I'm getting off of this. Okay, Divine Holy Spirit, well, what is wrong in this collective? That I'm, okay, Hermit Energy, boo. Retreat and recharge. Okay, so you're not only are you very aware, very tapped in, very intuitive, but you're very in sync with yourself. Highly spiritual person. I feel like for the spiritual person, they already know what time of day it is. They already are tapped in. You're about to go to another level. Okay, and there may be some fear attached with that because you're so used to moving in a certain type of way. Okay, you kind of got like your routine down pat, but the Divine Holy Spirit is saying things are moving, you're releasing something, and you're about to go out of here. Okay, Divine Holy Spirit, what is the goal? What is the goal for the collective? Thank you. 
and we have traveler move in a new direction. What I just said, you're moving in a new direction. Thank you, Divine Holy Spirit. I love it when the Divine Holy Spirit just keeps confirming what I say after I didn't say it, okay? This is the goal, totally to move in a new direction, okay? Opening up to these gifts. I, I also feel like working on your self-esteem with this traveling. For some of you, you're traveling, making appearances, doing things different, promoting your uh, spiritual um, tools, your spiritual classes or whatever it is that you have going on. Okay, you're not being bound to a certain area, a certain part. You're, you're trying to be worldwide. You're trying to spread all over. Okay, you're really tapping into yourself and into your powers. You're paying more close attention to your kids for some of you. You're releasing any guilt that you had around your kids and yourself in the household when you was a child. I'm getting as well. Okay, excuse that, y'all. That helicopter, airplane, whatever that is. So, must be the truth. Okay, let's keep going. What is surrounding the energy of what the collective needs to let go of? Or is blocking them? What is helping them? Divine Holy Spirit. Okay, it's so many. Divine Holy Spirit, what is helping them? What is helping them with what is blocking them? Thank you. Your guardian angels. Okay, there's a situation in spirit is giving me that, you know, your angels are overseeing this. You're not alone. And I feel like this is connected to something that you're having to do that like for some of you, you're like laying the groundwork for something. Okay. And for some of you, you may feel alone, but divine Holy Spirit is saying, let go of that feeling of being alone because you're not, you're divinely protected. Your guardian angels are coming out. Okay, you are not alone. Highly divinely protected with that white fella energy. Okay, high priestess energy, hermit energy. Okay, very highly protected individual. I'm reading for here. Divine Holy Spirit. Where does the collective need to direct their energy? Where does the collective need to direct their energy? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, where does the collective need to direct their energy? Okay, and we have trader. Exchange energy to create abundance. Okay, and when I see this card out, this card makes me feel like any you have traveler and trader. So as you're traveling, you're trading any energy that is not meant for your higher purpose, your greater good, what it is that you're trying to accomplish here. You're trading that energy off for abundance energy. You're taking that negative energy and you're turning it into abundance energy. Okay. And you're in this high priestess hermit energy right here. So you want to know exactly when you receive that energy, what to do with it, how to exchange someone's negativity, someone's jealousy, someone's other conflict that they're trying to throw on you, how to exchange that in and get some abundance out of that. Not all the time is abundance financially. Some this could mean financially too in a particular situation how you turn that energy around and make some money off it, but also this abundance energy I'm feeling like the divine Holy Spirit is saying this is within yourself, keeping that abundance that positive energy within you even though someone is trying to trade off what you know they trade they try to trade with you you trade right back, okay. Keep your positive energy is what I'm getting. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the advice for the collective that I'm reading for? Thank you. Boo, this has been popping out every time. Shed old skin. Okay, Divine Holy Spirit is giving me uh, old people, old situations, old scenarios, old way of thinking. Okay, definitely within your self-esteem and guilt. Okay, having some empathy for yourself and keep persevering. Okay. Because there's major changes coming for you. This is your chance to soar. So shed old skin is the advice. Okay. So we're going to go in with a three card tarot spread. Okay. Spirit is wanting me to clarify these cards right here. So I'm going to do that. 
Archangels, ancestors, Father God, the divine Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I'm connecting with either now or at a later date. Allow me to tap into their energies, Archangels, ancestors, Father God, the divine Holy Spirit. Allow me to tap in to this collective's energy. Thank you. This Ace of Pentacles has been at the bottom. This Ace of Pentacles right here has been at the bottom of the deck every shuffle. Every shuffle. Okay. But there is some things that's yet to be known on this path. But there are some things that you do know. Okay. Is what I'm getting off of this. Because you're very tapped in. High priestess energy. Hermit energy. This is what grounds you. This is where you are. And this is what's grounding you. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit. What is this traveler? Okay. High priestess. High priestess energy. <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles being loving, caring, nurturing. Okay, you could be a Virgo. Okay, you could be dealing with a Virgo. That sign is popping off to me. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting Virgo energy heavy with this hair fine energy here. Okay, could be messing with a Taurus. Okay, Capricorn I'm feeling as well. I'm 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 getting a, a a a not wanting to be bothered. I'm getting a steady focus on your dreams, your goals, your finances, your stability is what I'm getting. Whatever someone is offering or whatever something you already know what this is about, you're over it and you're focused on something else. You're focused on your stability right now. Is what I'm getting off of that. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the term and energy that's down here? Thank you. We have the Two of Cups. Divine Holy Spirit. What is this term and energy? Okay. We have Justice. Karmic Situation. Karmic Situation. Spirit is giving me Karmic Situation. Okay. King of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Also wanted to come out. Okay. You guys are taking time out from a situation that you invested a lot in. Okay. And I'm I'm hearing from this hermit energy, you, you know, you is that's it. Okay. You're you're not investing any more time into another connection. Okay, this is your truth. Okay, justice. This is what's coming out. This is what I'm getting off of this. Okay, the seven of pentacles here. You invested a lot into a situation that you're no longer wanting to deal with anymore. Okay, now I feel like you're you're going into this reinvesting into self mode with this hermit and this self like you're planning into a different direction with this justice card and this seven of pentacles and this hermit energy right here. Okay, balance is coming out for you. Okay, I feel like balance is coming out. Divine Holy Spirit. What is this travel energy? Oh, and it popped all the way over here. Okay, this is temperance. So you could be messing with a Sagittarius or a fire sign. Okay. So this is having patience and this having and going in this new direction. Okay, nurturing this idea. Okay. This is having patience on this path or whatever this is you're embarking on, you're going through. Divine Holy Spirit, give me some energy on the guardian angel card. What is the guardian angel? What is the guardian angel? Devil wanting to come out. Okay, guardian angel. Okay, we have the hangman, the hang one. We have the three of swords. And I feel like there is a situation or there were situations in your life um, outside of, of a connection with someone that was very focused on other things, not focused on you. Okay. That really hurts you. Okay. But you're moving on from that. And you know that, you know, you're going through that. This is a process is what I'm getting off of this. You know that your divine Holy Spirit uh, is here with you. You know that your spiritual team is here with you, but you're still in this pain. You're still in this hurt for some of you. This doesn't have to do with relationship. This has to do with something else. Okay, some type of family situation. I'm getting here heavy, but spirit is not wanting me to go into that. 
Okay. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're not alone because you're in this hurt, this pain. Okay. But I feel like you're moving out of that. But it still hurts. Divine Holy Spirit. What is this traitor energy? Okay. Give me more energy around the three of swords. Thank you. Yeah. Hermit coming out again. Okay. Like you're analyzing this hurt. Like you're going through. You're persevering and you're releasing any guilt. But you're looking at this as a balance that's coming through. You're looking at what it is that you sown into this. Okay. And you're wanting truth and you're wanting justice. Okay. And I feel like this is for yourself. So you could feel alone and even more hurt, especially around this time of the year right now. So you're just really focusing on you right now is what I'm getting. Hermit energy coming out twice. Divine Holy Spirit, what is this traitor energy? What is this traitor energy? Thank you. And we have the King of Wands. We have the Sun. And we have the Three of Cups. Okay. And the Divine Holy Spirit is wanting me to read this right here um, a different way. For some of you, this, this has everything to do with a situation that is on the home front. Okay. Or a situation that is not connected to an individual, but more so like family. Okay. A family member or family members did something to you. Okay, in a connection, okay, where you put a lot of work into something or you, you know, you kept a secret or something like that. I'm getting for some of you may not resonate with all of you, okay, and this might have hurt someone in the family when it came out. I'm getting as well, okay, and you're trying to move on from this. You have some guilt about this, okay, um. For others of you, I feel like this energy right here with this King of Wands, like I feel like you're you're going after what it is that you want. You're having patience. You're trusting and you're believing. You're creating your abundance. You're going after it with a determination and a passion. Okay, and there is going to be something to celebrate. Okay, because for some of you, you have been since moved on from your person. And for others of you, you're moving on from this person. Okay, you're moving on from this person that you thought a lot of, that you wanted to have a lot with. Okay, this person meant a lot to you, but this person was constantly putting you in third party situation. This person was a man or a woman around town. Okay, very desired. Okay, very focused on what they wanted and only what they wanted. Okay, they was very focused on what made them happy. And you was needing to trade that energy off to create your own abundance is what I'm getting as well. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the advice? What is this old skin? What is this old skin? Yeah, King of Cups, somebody who was emotionally unavailable. Okay, for some of you, I'm getting like for some of you. You know, you have detached from the situation with this hermit energy coming out twice. Totally detached with this king of cups. And you need to shed that, okay, and release any guilt about anything, okay? And see a situation from a different perspective, a different angle I'm getting, okay? And others of you, this is a person that was very cold towards you, okay? Very hurtful towards you. No matter what you were trying to invest with this person, no matter what you were trying to show this person, this person was very cold to you. Okay? So you needed to shed this person, let this person go, or let this feeling go. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the advice? Give me some more around shed, old skin, the snake, the advice. Give me some more energy. Thank you. Ten of Wands. Putting this burden down, this connection with this person that is not emotionally there for you, that is not fulfilling you, that is not bringing you any happiness anymore. For some of you, you really tried with this person. You really tried to figure out the problem, okay? But this was a judgment call. Something had came in for you to understand your spiritual team, your archangels, your ancestors came in and... and, and Something came through for you to just drop this burden, this of trying to have everything, putting all your passion and your energy into a person who wasn't putting the same back into you. Okay. 
Divine Holy Spirit, give me some more energy around this judgment. Yeah. The devil. Okay. And the divine Holy Spirit wanted me to really uh uh read it two ways. You know, this is this is being in a toxic commitment, okay, and this is obsession. Okay, some of you, your person was obsessed with you, others of you, you were obsessed, obsessed with this connection, this toxic connection, and it was a judgment call with this person because I feel like this was repetitive with the justice and judgment. This was a karmic situation for you to learn. Okay, for you to move in a new direction, to have patience with yourself, nurture yourself, grow, okay, with yourself, okay? So, with that being said, you guys, I'm going to leave it at that, okay? I'm sending nothing but love, pure, oh, no, okay, Divine Holy Spirit wants me to get an angel oracle message, okay? Archangel, ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit, this the message for the collective. Divine, Holy Spirit, what is the message for the collective that I'm reading for? Thank you. And we have oneness. And it says, someone you dearly miss is forever present in your heart. Remember, dearest one, even though they, even though there has been a physical parting, spiritually, those we love never leave us. Creation is eternal. Nothing is ever truly missing for all is interconnected. And ultimately one. Okay. And I feel like with this oneness card, this is, you know, someone that is departed. Someone that you love dearly. Okay. That you may have lost in some type of way. They have transitioned. Okay. They are just reaching out to you right now. And they're just letting you know I'm always here with you. I love you. Okay. Even though I'm not there physically, I'm here spiritually. All you have to do is just connect Okay, it is never missing. It's all interconnected and ultimately one. Okay, so this person just wants to let you know that they're there with you. Okay, this my person might even be one of your guardian angels as well. Okay, so with that being said, you guys, I love you. Okay, thank you, Miss Nicole and Spiritual Guides Academy yet again for this beautiful, wonderful, special opportunity. Okay, you guys, make sure you hit that like button, drop us a comment, subscribe to the channel here, and also go check my channel out, Empress Queen Tay, Tarot, and Oracle. Bye, you guys.